In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CoCl2. This is silver nitrate, and this is cobalt-2 chloride. First thing we need to do is balance our molecular equation. So we see we have two nitrate ions here, and then only one here. So I could put a 2 in front of my AgNO3. That would balance the nitrates, but now I have two silvers. Let's put a 2 here. Those are balanced. The chlorines are balanced. Cobalt. Everything's good. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Nitrate compounds, according to the solubility rules, very soluble. Write it AQ, aqueous, cobalt-2 chloride, chloride compounds. They are also very soluble in most cases, with a few exceptions. One of the exceptions is silver chloride. Silver chloride is not soluble in water. It's a good one to memorize. So we're going to put an S. That means it's a solid. When these two substances react, this will form a solid. It will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we leave a solid here. And then nitrates, we said, very soluble AQ. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions. This will give us a complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So silver is always 1 plus on the periodic table. Nitrate, this whole ion, is 1 minus. So I have two silver ions, 2 Ag plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now. Plus, I have two nitrate ions, two of those NO3 minus ions. For the cobalt chloride, cobalt's a transition metal. We don't know its charge. We do know that chlorine, the chloride ion, is always 1 minus. Since I have two of them, this has to be 2 plus. That's why I was calling it cobalt-2 chloride, because of the charge. So I have CO2+, plus, and then I have two chloride ions, plus 2 Cl-. Minus. And those are the reactants. For the products, we said we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we have 2 AgCl, and that'll stay together, plus we said we had a 2 plus and a minus here, 1 minus for the nitrate. We would have CO2 plus, plus two nitrate ions. And these would be the products. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. So as I'm looking, I see two nitrates here, two nitrate ions in the reactants, two in the products. Cross them out. I have a cobalt ion here and a cobalt ion here. Let's cross those out. But everything else, that's unique, and that gives us a net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CoCl2. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus copper 2 chloride. One thing you'll notice, we have the same coefficient in front of each substance. So we can actually just delete this so we have the lowest common denominator there. And this is our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.